Breaking news uh, begins out of Sacramento, where police say they shot a woman who was pointing a pellet gun at a business and then at officers. We have live team coverage in Midtown near 28th and O Streets. KCRE 3's Michelle Van Door got ring camera video of the moments that shooting happened, and Melanie Wingo spoke one on one with witnesses. Let's first begin with Michelle Van Door. Michelle, I know that you have been live on the scene for hours now. What have you learned so far this evening? Well, Brittany, it is still an active investigation here in Midtown, and we actually changed positions to give you a different perspective than what we showed you at 5 o'clock. So we're actually on Q Street here, and we're on the south side of Wind Park. Wind Park is still partially closed down, and then 28th Street uh, is also closed down from P all the way to R. And so in between Q and R Street is where police say that the shooting took place. Police tell us that two officers fired their weapons at the woman between Q and R streets, and they say that that woman actually pointed what appeared to be a silver gun at the officer, but they say it turns out that this gun was not real. Now take a look at this. A viewer sent us video from the ring doorbell showing the chase, and then listen, you can hear four gunshots. So that's what residents heard right after about 1230 this afternoon. Sacramento police say it's all started then when people started calling 911 to report seeing a woman again with what appeared to be a silver handgun first at 28th and O and then they got a call at 28th and N Street where the caller said that a woman was pointing a weapon at people inside a business. Police confronted the woman in this area and they say she immediately started running away. They chased her and here's what they say led up to that officer shooting. At some point during the foot pursuit, uh, the female stopped and produced what appeared to be a silver handgun and pointed it at our officers. Two of our officers discharged their weapons and an officer involved shooting occurred. Uh, that female was hit at least one time in the officer involved shooting and was transported to an area hospital where she is expected to survive her injuries. So police tell us this area is going to be closed for quite some time. You see two crime scene investigator vans there with um, crime scene investigators out here still collecting evidence. And we've seen many detectives out canvassing the area, trying to talk to witnesses. They do hope that if you've seen or you heard anything this afternoon that you do contact homicide detector, detectives. Sergeant Eaton did say that that suspect, once she is released from the hospital, will be taken into custody. Again, no officers were hurt. And again, as per department policy, those officers, the two officers who were involved in the shooting, will be placed on administrative leave. He didn't have the exact details of that. They need to be placed on leave while investigators figure out if they were actually justified in firing their weapons here in Midtown this afternoon. Reporting live in Midtown, Michelle Bandor, KCRA 3 News. Michelle, thank you. And police said that what the woman was holding was a pellet gun. I know if you get hit with one of those, it can really hurt. Oh, what else do we know about that gun she was holding? Well, what we've heard, uh, Brittany, what police, what Sergeant Eaton told us today, he said the gun turned out to be not real, and he called it also a pellet gun. Uh, he also said that they will be releasing a photo of that actual weapon, whatever the woman was holding, that police believed was a silver, some type of silver handgun. Um, they'll be releasing that photo, so we'll be able to hopefully show you, show you that and show our viewers what it is police say they thought they saw the woman holding and that they say the woman was pointing at them. All right, Michelle, thank you so much.